Hi guys, let's look at cutting a shape from an image in Affinity Designer on the Windows PC. This is superbly useful for sublimation or using cutting, the Cricut Cutter and uh, various other types of art forms where it's very simple if you have Affinity Designer, you have a couple of images, you want to cut out some shapes, put some text behind it. You don't want to get into all sorts of technical stuff when you just want to cut out a circle. And here we go. Let's have a look at this. So, start a new document. In Designer, simply start with a new document. I'll use a standard A4 print sheet, but of course you can use any size that fits your project. Set it to transparent. The erase mode that we will use erases anything under the shape right back to the base layer. And to best see this effect, make the document transparent. And there you can see the hatchwork on the back and that's showing the transparent document. So save your document. Give it a name. Next, place an image from the stock studio on the document. And now here I've gone to Pixabay, just search for a girl. And there she is, top row, centre image. Just drag that onto your workspace. Next, drag out a small ellipse and position it over the girl where you want it. Now I've got a circle there and, and I've made it a circle. Don't worry about holding your finger down and all that kind of thing. Just use the Transform Studio if you want a perfect circle. Width and height, 110 millimeters, easy. Now, select the layer in the Layer Studio and change its mode to Erase which is right down the bottom of the list in this case. You will see the underlying, <coughs> excuse me, transparent document base appear. You can see right through to the transparency now. It erases everything beneath that layer. Now, the next thing we do, place an image of a train over the project. Again, Pixabay train and there's a whole group of trains. We've got these one on the left, second down. You've got three layers now. Train image layer, the ellipse layer, and the original layer with the image of the girl on it. Not difficult so far. Now, this one's easy. You just select the circle, that's the ellipse, and drag it to the halfway position in the train image in the top layer. And it becomes a mask. You can see that the cutout circle now acts as a mask. So it's no longer transparent through to the back of the image, it's transparent through to the girl and shows her above, or her portrait if you like, above the train. And now that in itself is very useful. You can of course move any component wherever you like by selecting the appropriate layer. Now you can see here I've selected the layer with the girl's image on it and just moved it slightly up and to the right. That's not where I'll leave it, but that's just to show you how you can move these things around. It's entirely up to you how you use this option in your designs. Now you can see the three layers there. There's the top layer, the mask layer, and the bottom layer, the background if you like. Let's see what happens when we apply another erased circle. Its position in the layer hierarchy determine what shows. So set its mode to erase. Here it cuts through all layers, goes right to the base again. So I've put in an ellipse which is right in the top, it's the top layer now. Its mode is erase and it cuts right through everything. Moving it to a position just above the first mask causes it to inherit that layer's attributes. Now you can see I've moved it from the top and I've placed it again within that top image of the train and it shows the girl's arm. Very useful if you've got a part of an image that you want to emphasise. You could put that anywhere of course. Now what can we do with this? Well, I've moved the ellipse back to the top layer, in this case. Then exported the image 
as a PNG. So move the ellipse back to the top. Export your cutout as a PNG. Because the ellipse is transparent, you can show yet another image below it. So create a new, a new um, workspace, drag the desert image into it, and place your exported PNG on it using the place command. Add some text if you like. Note the layers. And you can see I've got the original one we just created with the circle in it. And it's placed over the top of the image of the desert. And then I've typed in the word desert, which is yet another layer. Very useful. Great for craft work, sublimation, cutting, firing. It's up to you. I've got the simple desert image there with a white banner and the, the layer that had Lawrence typed on it. I've just set its mode to erase and there's the bottom layer right below it. How useful is that? Punch out those letters. Put something nice behind it. Doesn't need to be a white banner. Can be any sort of banner. Can be another image with the word Lawrence typed across it and it will show up the base image, in this case, which is the desert. Experiment. You'll find this a lot of fun and so easy to use. You'll start producing most excellent craft work really easily. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the thumbs up to like. I really appreciate it.